All right, guys. So today we're gonna try some uh, low soul memory co-op. Now I've never done this before. Um, this is my character Jack. He, she was meant to be a jack of all trades, but we're gonna keep her at a low soul memory. I have an interesting build in mind for her. Uh, maybe we'll do some invading when we get a little further along. But uh, about ten and a half hours in, um, I just cleared Earth and Peak, and I'm over to Iron Keep. Um, we're going to take a break from that for a minute. We've already joined the Sun Bros, and we're going to do a, a little bit of co-op if we can find some matches here. I think we're going to try the Pursuer, and uh, uh, because we're trying to stay at a low soul memory, we're, uh, we don't have anything upgraded at all, actually, so I'll show you my character. Um, I've only acquired 31,970 souls, as you can see there in the top right, um, so far in this playthrough, uh, before I uh, found the Agape Ring, which is just here. Now, uh, Strayed sells this ring once you've acquired 30,000 souls, uh, 30,000 soul memory, and not before then, so you need at least 30,000, and believe it or not, it's actually a real pain in the ass to get from the beginning of the game to Strayed and only collect 30,000 souls. So, uh, but we did it, and now we have it, and now uh, we're going to try and see how this goes. Uh, these shield motherfuckers are always a pain in the ass for me. Out of all the enemies of Dark Souls 2 that I dislike, these guys are definitely up there for sure. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. So, um, and again, because we're trying to stay at a low soul memory, we actually haven't spent any souls to, um, to upgrade any of our equipment. So we've leveled up to uh, the max level that this character is going to be at, actually. Which is, uh, I think, level 23. 23 or 29 at this point. And what we're trying to do is to have the minimum amount of, uh, of stats needed to wield the blue flame, the sword. Uh, and then we're going to try and spice down some uh, pretty powerful spells. As the uh, stat requirements for the blue flame are actually rather low. As you can see here, uh, I'm level 23. <coughs> Excuse me, the only stats I have upgraded are strength, dexterity, and... Um, Intelligence. Now the intelligence is going to drop to 12 with a soul vessel once I get the blue flame, and the dex is going to go to 15. So I'm really going to stay at level 23 here. Um, and with the Southern Ritual Band uh, plus three, we're going to have enough slots to use a number of spells with uh, a level 23 character. And the soul memory is going to stay right around 50,000, I think, once we have everything upgraded. Uh, I forgot if it actually costs anything to spice down spells. If it does, we might be in trouble, but if it doesn't, uh, we should be okay. We can probably, we'll probably be able to invade in a number of uh, the early areas and co-op in a number of the early areas with uh, some pretty, pretty badass gear. Uh, once we get everything squared away on this build, so that's what we're going for. And these fucking guys really do love some of their armor. Um, I'm a huge, huge fan of uh, Fashion Souls. I have been ever since Demon Souls, and uh, I've got some really. Really killer setup with some of their armor, the, uh, the helmet in particular. Okay, so. Do I have it? No, I do not. So, let's see. White Sign Soapstone. Now, again, uh, at Earth and Peak, we did join the Sun Bros, so. I'm gonna see if we can't get some, uh, some Sun Bro action here. Well, one thing I do need to do is change. I guess this one pumped up. Fuck you. Let me praise the goddamn sun. <clears throat> and we'll see if we can get any action here. If not, after a minute or two, we'll try... Um, might as well try No Man's Wharf. Uh, we can also try the Giant. We'll maybe try a few other places. Let's see if we get anything. We're going to give us about... 60 seconds here. I think we should be within decent enough range at 30,000 souls. Uh, or 30,000 soul memory, excuse me, to, uh, to find some action here. Excuse me. If you hear some rustling in the background, sorry about that. We're getting used to a new headset here. All right. Oh, shit. You look like a fucking badass, Jack. Look at you. Drang leg gloves, legs, extra defense. Right, right. Okay. Nothing so far. Alright, so I guess um, as far as this build goes, uh, so 
it's pretty much where it's going to be. Oh, there we go, being summoned. It's pretty much where it's going to be until uh, we get the blue flame. Uh, we certainly don't want to spend any souls or acquire any souls without the agape ring on to um, to upgrade anything or to level up anymore um, until we get uh, all of the gear that we want to use. Um, which means, unfortunately, that we're going to play the rest of the game essentially with an unupgraded uh, fire longsword. Oh, hey. Got what's his name's armor on? Praise the motherfucking sun. I bet you're curious how I got here. Now, with the blue flame, this would be exponentially easier. I'd be able to launch some incredible fucking spells. And we'll see if this cat knows how to parry the pursuer. That uh, looks like he does. You do that, I'll do this. Oh. You know what? Fuck that. Alright, well. Let's see if we can't get. Come on, pursuer. Get your ass back over here. Allenton, don't die, buddy. Oh, come on, Allenton. Already? I'll bet you're mad at me. Alright, well, we're gonna try that again. I'll bet he'll be, if, if anything, he'll be back within a matter of a minute or so. But what I was saying, excuse me, before the invasion. Uh, oh man. By the way, I just had some sushi for dinner about a half hour ago. Holy shit. Man, when you find a good sushi joint, that is... That is something special. Okay, anyway, so... Uh, as I was trying to explain before, um, the... The purpose of this build is to stay at a low soul memory, so until we get the items that we're going to use uh, for the build, nothing else can be upgraded. So, no shield for extra stability, no weapon for extra damage, no catalyst for extra damage, no extra levels, nothing. So, we managed to acquire so far... Um, hang on one second, white sign soapstone. Give me a little more sunbro action here. Uh, we managed to acquire... Um, a number of things. So fire long sword, obviously easy enough. Um, and this is I started as a deprived, by the way. So let's see, player info, areas of the sun, fucking sun bro. Uh, sun bro is confirmed for Dark Souls three, by the way. Fuck yeah. Okay, so uh, fire long sword we acquired, um, staff obviously, um, and then uh, after the uh, Lost Bastille, the Enchanted Falchion, which uh, you get, I believe, with the Bastille key after the Gargoyles is when I got it. So um, I've got a number of weapons I can actually use here. So the Magic Mace, uh, the Enchanted Falchion, and the Fire Longsword. Those are really my three go-to weapons until, uh, <laughs> until we get the Blue Flame, which unfortunately is going to be a ways away. And uh, Dark Souls 2 is not a game that I spent uh, a ton of time with. In fact, when it first came out, I had already spent quite literally probably close to 2,000 hours with Dark Souls. I fucking love that game. I played it for well over a year, um, and Dark Souls 2 just threw me off. Everything about it I really hated. The Daggish 101 and Dante 793. Ladies and gentlemen, let's beat the shit out of this fucking Pursuer, shall we? Let's. Dante 793, wait on you, buddy. Nice rape here. Sweet digs, bro. Is that a tattoo? Fuck yeah, it is. Let's see. Oh, some kind of tattoo. You waiting on somebody else? Come on, Dante. Let's do it. Come on, Dante. Oh, another uh, unfortunate caveat of uh, doing a low soul memory run is... Again, not being able to spend souls, you have to farm all the life gems you get. So eventually you get to the point where... Ooh, it's our first time fighting a Pursuer, apparently, with Dante. Um, eventually you get to a point where the only healing items you can use are your, uh, your Estus Blast. Now, I'm used to that, uh, playing Dark Souls for as long as I did. Uh, although, I gotta say, I'm getting kind of spoiled, I think, by some of these life gems. I'm actually, it's, I think it's a nice handicap to impose on oneself uh, if you don't want to lose that, that little edge. All this fucking healing, I understand. I mean, for everything I love about Demon Souls as well, that game was really brilliant. Fuck me, that game was really brilliant. But uh, I really did prefer the uh, the healing game in Dark Souls. When uh, oh shit! Come on, pursuer. Come on. Don't fire those bolts at me, motherfucker. Oh. 
Good job. Thanks. Spear right to the fucking head. And I was murdered by... Whoa! White Phantom. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, boys. Good luck. Alright, we're gonna take a break here. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna come back with some more low soul memory co-op and see if we can't uh, level up in this uh, Sunbro Covenant a little bit. But uh, we'll be back. Oh shit. <laughs>